Dr. Octagon, I'm post- <laughs> What's up, bitches? Funky here. Well, today we are going to take a look at a comparison between the Destroyer, which happens to be my favorite assault rifle, and we're going to compare this against a Cyclops, which was one of the assault rifles offered in the New Year event that is now closed and uh, I'm not sure if they have made the Cyclops and any of the other weapons available to buy just yet from the event if you didn't win one. But uh, anyways, getting to the Destroyer here. Love this gun. Uh, it, it's better at long range attacks, has uh, increased damage the farther away you are. Uh, next to the Slicer, it had the best range for an assault rifle. But it, it's not that great when you're at close range or, or mid range even uh, fighting enemies and one of the problems I always had with this gun but it was also one of the things why I liked it so much was I didn't have to use the scope I don't really like having to use scopes on assault rifles mainly because I want to keep my peripherals open to see if anything's coming but uh Let's take a look here. Not exactly the greatest map to uh, demonstrate you know, uh, a gun's ability, but I think it'll get the point across. Try and get these guys on the top of their heads. See that? And every time you go one on one with a juggernaut straight on like that, a juggernaut's always gonna win. Uh, you could sit there and try and dance around and everything else, but. If you're both fully held or you've taken damage, odds are the Juggernaut's gonna take you down. It's just, that's how it is. Ah, just not doing too good here. Kinda sucking. Although one thing I will say I noticed with the Destroyer is you seem to run a little bit faster using a Destroyer. I mean, it's not like a scout or a brawler kind of speed, but you definitely get some kind of speed going. Oh, come on, you darker! Oh, that pissed me the fuck off. All right, come on now. Let's do it. All right, they're running right down. We're going to get them. Oh shit, got another one. Oh, fuck you. You're fucking porcupine. Alright, I'm gonna take this shit. I'm gonna take it from him. Take it! Like my buddy Bovice. Uh, yep. Well, that, that wasn't a kill, but we'll take. Oh, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, shit. Ah! Bitch tits. Okay. I'm just glad my friggin' random teammates are carrying me on this one because I am sucking. Oh, come on. <laughs> At least I got a kill. For fuck's sake. Golly. I mean, it's a powerful gun. The destroyer is not terrible by any means. And at lower levels, this gun is fucking beast mode. I mean, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. The destroyer is the best assault rifle you can own prior to level 34. After level 34, you got some options. You can go with a juggernaut if you got the gold and can afford it. Uh, if you happen to win an Odin or a Cyclops from the Christmas event, they are other options. It's no longer just 
The best two assault rifles in the game are the Destroyer and Juggernaut. Hands down, that's it. End of story, period. You have options now. A few more, not many. But let's go ahead and see what our other option is, considering that I really did not do so well there. So let me quick switch accounts, and I will be right back. And we're back, bitches. Time to get the old Cyclops out. Now, if you guys saw my uh, guide from level 28 to 33, you will see that I was using a Cyclops in that battle. Uh, I really like this gun. Really a piss to use. Really, really fucking simple and easy to use. Uh, it's not one of those guns where... You see everyone on Discord or anywhere else going, Oh, it's a really great gun! If you can do this, or if you can run around like this, or if you land only these, and so on and so forth. It's not the case with the Cyclops. Uh, if you have this gun and you're at level... Anything before level 34, you're a boss. Uh, simply put, you, you've got it. Yeah, unless you have really, really shitty teammates, you will probably win uh, 95 to 99.9% .9 of the time. Uh, it's not crazy powerful, but it's range, it's sight, everything about this gun is really fucking on point. So let's take a look and see how this holds up to my beloved Destroyer. All right, so here we go. Come on, da da da. Where are you? So I can shoot you in the head. All right, here we go. Body, head. No matter what you do, you're going to get a kill with this gun. I mean, it has a decent sized clip with 40 rounds per clip, so that's a total of 80 rounds that you get to fucking plug people with. Uh, right there you see the headshot damage, and yes, I am wearing a Darkstalker helmet. 638 on headshots with an assault rifle, which isn't terrible. I mean, a level 5 Anaconda will do just about the same amount of headshot damage. And yes, an Anaconda is a great gun. And yes, I leveled up my Anaconda, and yes, I will get to a review of it, so please be patient. But... One thing that I will say about the Anaconda is you wouldn't be able to get that kill right there. An Anaconda is not going to accomplish that. The range uh, on an Anaconda, not good and not made for those kinds of kills. Uh, it's better at mid to close range, whereas the Cyclops here is decent at long range attacks. In fact, it seems almost better at long range attacks than even the destroyer which was also made for long range I mean look at this it's like you could snipe with this fucker almost I mean the sights are really fucking easy to use uh, that was one of the issues I always had with the destroyer was I didn't like using the scope because the way the sights are set up it was just kinda awkward for me uh, this simple you know you put the fucking little red dot on the enemy and kaplow that's it oh fuck ah that's one thing I don't like about this gun is if you're right out of range it'll keep firing anyways the bullets won't hit the enemy but it'll keep firing so I kind of don't understand that but it seems to be like one of the very few issues I have with this gun uh, is it better than a juggernaut mm, I don't know if I would go that far is it better than a destroyer uh, it's hard to fucking argue it really is some people are a fucking beast with the destroyer uh, at lower levels yeah I mean you could be a beast with any fucking thing you know Jesus Christ I got 31 kills in a match using a fucking onslaught and a anaconda 
you can do anything at lower levels with any gun. But once you hit level 34 and you're competing with people that have maxed out armor and maxed out guns and porcupines and juggernauts, is it still the one of the best assault rifles? Yes and no. However, I think that the addition of the Cyclops here has taken the place of the Destroyer. So now let's take a look here and compare the Destroyer to the Cyclops. The Destroyer is great on long range attacks and no, you don't really need a scope. Uh, it gives you a little bit faster running ability. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't have a very big clip. The Cyclops, awesome sights, awesome range, awesome damage. It's just awesome. So which weapon do I choose? Obviously, it's going to be the Cyclops. It's just a better killing machine, and it's easier for me to use. Maybe it's because I'm not a pro like everybody else. I'm going to boom. Oh, funky. You're a noob. You suck. Uh, well, guess what? My, my Cyclops doesn't make me suck. So fuck you, fuck your mother, fuck your father, and fuck your brother before I forget. Till next time, game on, bitches.